Well, happening right now on Hawaii Island, Kilauea is once again erupting. Take a look at the lava that is spewing from the caldera floor. Now, the, the U.S. Geological Survey says that episode 37, well, it started just a few hours ago, 2.30 this afternoon, uh, nearly three hours ago. Now, fountains are reaching, well, nearly 400 feet in height now over the past year. We've also seen these episodes last uh, about a day or so. We will see how long this one lasts. And then take a look at what we saw a little more than an hour ago, a massive dust tornado sweeping through right next to the eruption. Amazing video with the ash falling from the sky. And we're going to bring in Chief Meteorologist Pete Cajano. Pete, we've seen something like this before, haven't we? Uh, they've happened before. And yeah, just incredible video here. And you're right, it's much like what we see when we see these dust devils. Sometimes we see them across Maui or, or the Big Island. And basically, it's just the temperature difference creating a lot of lift in the atmosphere. And that can create a little bit of a spin. And you can see it creates these vortexes, which are, are effectively weak tornadoes. But uh, they are developed, again, because of that eruption creating that intense heat and the difference between that intense heat near the volcano and then the land nearby creates a low pressure center that creates a lot of lift so all that air is rising up so more air is coming in to fill in that air that's rising up in the atmosphere and to get any twist in the atmosphere you can develop into these what are sometimes referred to as volnados and they can last for a few minutes and you know what they can pick up debris so it's not completely safe to be near obviously this you want to uh, give yourself a lot of distance between this uh, rotation as you can pick up rocks and debris and, and throw it hundreds of feet away from that vortex 